everyone. Good morning, good evening, good afternoon, wherever you might be tuning in. My name is Marva B. I am the CEO and founder of Black Link Magazine. I am your host, and I'd like to welcome Mr. Steve Harris to Black Link Magazine. Welcome, Steve. Uh, thank you. Thank you for having me. I appreciate it. Absolutely. We're glad to have you on. Just so excited about everything that you do. You do a lot. Um, I've, I've been doing my homework, but of course I follow you on everything just about that you, uh, that you play in. So, um, Thank you. we're, fa we're fans, um, Thank you. here Thank we do, you. we do support you. So if you don't mind, go ahead and just introduce yourself to my audience, let them know who you are and what you do. Uh, well, uh, my name is Steve Harris and I'm on the show right now on stars called BMF. Uh, I play detective Bryant. Um, you know, it's really a show, uh, about, BMF, which were uh, kids in Detroit in the late 80s and 90s that grew up uh, to some fame and fortune dealing with drugs, the drug game, as well as tapping a little bit into the entertainment industry, music along the lines. Um, they branched out. They actually got very, very big and branched out to Atlanta a lot and branched out to L.A., um, and it's really telling their story. And right now in the first season, we're dealing with them from, you know, the onset of them turning into these people. Uh, and one of the facets that I think is, is really great about it is that you have uh, Russell and Nicole who play their parents. Yes. And you yes. get to see, uh, this is a two parented, God fearing, loving family. That's right. That subsequently produced what we uh big beach and terry and and they created themselves as these other entities yeah. um and i think it was i think one of the driving forces was you had an opportunity to see a mother and father working as hard as they could doing mm. everything the right way and never being able to get above ground yeah only being able to go maybe check to check if that and if the slightest hiccup comes on then they're in quicksand. Yeah. So they ultimately ended up making the decision to pursue other means uh, uh, to make a living by. Right. And you know, Steve, it's so, um, it touches home base for a lot of people in reality. You right. know, we have, and myself, you know, to, as an example, I have two parent had two parent home all my life, but I didn't always make the decisions that they instilled in me, the right decisions, right? Right. And so it just, it happens like, um, and so it was, it was just, it just hit home and not just for me, but for a lot of people. So we can appreciate that. Um, I, I want to ask you, um, at what point are, are we going to see Detective Bryant? Because we're starting out as them young, you know, really just now right. into what they're doing. So when does Detective Bryant come in? Well, I, I think as we go along this season, you'll see more and more of me. Mm -hmm. I'll become... An entity? Yes, <laughs> I know we can't say that. <laughs> <laughs> That's the best way to put it. I'll, be, I'll become something to deal with, and then I'll be something to deal with next year as well. Yeah. Um, I don't, we don't, you, in order to tell this, this story of BMF and not this story of Detective Brian, so we have to be true to telling that story. It's just that you can't tell that story without having a cat like me around. It's just the, 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 the fact of the matter is we always want to say, well, well, not recently, but we always wanted to say the bad guys are the bad guys and the good guys are the cops. And that's really not the case. You know, everybody got a little gray to them. Everybody jaywalks. You know what I mean? We all know walking between the white lines and go to the corner. Yet if my car's across the street, we all jaywalk. Gonna shoot know. across that street right in the middle of it. And, and, and as long as we ain't doing no harm, no foul, that's great. Now, it's different between jaywalking and armed robbery, mm. it's a different entity. So, most people don't go there. Right. Most people don't go to this thing with the drug game. Most people, most, uh, on a police officer, I think most of them start on the, on the up and up. Right. Uh, but the reality of the situation is they want to live too and not just survive. And, you know, police officers don't really make a lot of money. That's right. Unfortunately. So when you look at this and you look at that scenario, that's to me is a common bond between Detective Bryant and the kids. Right. Everybody's trying to live. Now, Detective Bryant, I feel, may have a place he's not willing to go. Mm. I think these kids are discovering they may not have a place they won't go. And then you have an issue. 
So I think as you continue to watch the show, you know, uh, we're almost finished with this particular season. I think we only have a few more left. Right. Uh, it's going to leave a lot more that you want to embark upon. And since we're telling the true story, we have we have a lot more to tell. Right. My character is more of a culmination of a bunch of different uh, entities of, of, of police officers that went along in their uh, careers is my, my feeling. But, you know, I'm not, I always like when I'm doing something, I don't mind folks being uncomfortable. Mm, okay. You know, I, look, I, I, I will make you uncomfortable. It's, so it's, it's good though, because it puts you in that place. Because, you know, I don't know where I'll go as far as the show goes, I'll be honest with you. But I do know as far as this year goes and it ends up, you know, I'll become an entity. Yeah, so, and that just makes me so curious. It's like, <laughs> let me, and let me tell you why. Let me tell you why. Because you do have, there's several different types of detectives. Yes. They do several, you know, what? where are you coming in at and what are you doing? And I know you can't tell me, but that's why we got to continue to watch. Absolutely. Before you come in, because I'm so curious about your part in it. Um, let me ask you this. Were you um, up to par? Did you know anything about this story, these guys, this family, prior to taking this part? Now, their family, I didn't know about. Now, the family, I did know the family entity before taking the part, yes. But I knew about BMF way. I knew about BMF back when they were doing their grind. Because BMF yeah. wasn't just, yeah, because... You got to remember, BMF is really doing a hustle in the 90s. And if you really know, mm. in the 90s, the, yep. the practice was on. Yep. And I was doing my thing. So you would be around cats like this at certain venues. It's just what it was. And, you know, and you'd be around certain people, not just from Detroit, but cats from New York, cats from L.A. You knew, you know, there's black cloud material over here. You understood. But you was, everybody was cool. You're doing your thing. I'm doing my thing. Hey, every, yeah. everything is what it is. So yeah, the time is is great for me. The era is is great for me. I did not know that they came from the household that they came from that we're depicting. I did not know that to the degree of which uh, uh, I knew. And then and then as I started to do more research, I discovered a lot about the family after okay. that. But knowing about BMF was something that I knew about prior to. Matter of fact, when I heard BMF and my people came to me and said, hey, they, I think they're going to offer you this thing for, they want to talk to you about this my thing. Next, that was my next question. Yeah, and I was saying, okay. what is the thing for BMF? I was like, okay. you talking about, yeah, you talking about the drug casting from Detroit? And he's like, yeah. I said, okay, let's get them. Because for me, it gives you the opportunity to tell a real story. Oh, now, I didn't know, and in, in, in knowing Randy for was when I started talking to him, Randy, the mm-hmm. showrunner, and mm-hmm. head writer of the show is from Detroit. So right. he was enamored with the story. He was going to be all in trying to represent Detroit. And a lot of times we never think of, you know, Detroit is having, you know, we know they're bad, but we don't think of them as sending to anything. Right. We always give that to New York criminals or we okay. give that to the organized crime in the Italian mafia or we the haiku, the Yakuza. The, we always give it to these cultures. Right. Yeah. in their vein and what we do. And we give them high marks for it. And these cats did their things from the street and rose up and, and they should be, um, uh, we're going to tell their story. I don't think any of these people should be glamorized or that. I just think we should tell the story and let you make the judgment. I agree uh, Because that. usually the end result, um, you know, uh, I hope you enjoyed the ride because the end seems to always be bumpy. Listen, I'm been, I'm telling you, like I told the others, I got it on my phone. I don't leave home without my phone. So I'm not going to miss it because I got to go. <laughs> see what's going on. Y'all got my attention now. Um, so, so by you knowing, Steve, you know, about the guys prior, right? And then they come to you and they say, hey, we want you to do that. Did that, what, where did that take you? Like, did it, did it, did it change or did it affect the way that you are going to play this character or how you're going to do things? No, it's not going to look when we talked about my particular character, which clearly isn't in, in the story right. of, of that is outside the vein of the story. But you, you, like I said, you need these people around. Right. You know, my thing is, is that I want to, uh, he, he needs to be something that a person he needs to be a real person and he needed to be, 
he found a way to sort of make this thing right in his mind to do it, mm-hmm. knowing that what he's doing is wrong. Right. So he's, you know, it's just a question of how far are you willing to take it? You know what I mean? When you know it's wrong. So, and I, I, I say it this way. I, I always say it a lot of time, you know, it's like gaining weight, man. You don't gain weight all of a sudden. Right. It's a couple of things here. So you change the shirt, you loosen the belt a little bit. Now, then you go to the store, you buy a bigger shirt, you do this. But you always keep the clothes when you were small, in case you get back to that. Yeah. You know what I mean? But before you know it, you didn't put on two, five, ten. But it didn't happen in two weeks. Yeah. It happened in two years. Wow. Or two and a half years. Yeah. So now you're not work. So and, and that's what happens. You take a little bit here, you take a little bit there. Before you know it, all you're doing is taking. Right. You know, you now you into this game. But at some point, you may have a, you know, come to Jesus moment where you go, okay, I'm not willing to go past this. Mm. Or you recognize, ah, okay, wait a minute, hold on. This dude here telling me I might have to have bypass surgery, but if I don't do this, so let me go ahead. Now let me figure out this these numbers and drop them down for real. Right. Oh That's my. something. And when you come to that moment, and to me, in our, in our show, when you come to that moment, like the boys are steadily discovering how much further they're willing to go. Mm, the yeah. question with my character is, how far is he willing to go? I cannot wait. See, that just, oh, I need you to tell me. So this <laughs> has to be our last question because you've got to yeah. get to a radio interview, okay? I, I, okay, cool, I, cool, no problem. So, so we'll hurry up through this really quick. I just want to know, um, what do you say to people? Because they're going to be naysayers, right? They're going to say, you guys are pushing drugs and, you know, this and that. Or you're going to also, but you do have the other side, like myself, that support and see that these guys did good for their community. They, you know, they did good. What are you saying about that, knowing that we can't, we can't please everybody? I don't say none of that. I don't try to please everybody. I know that's impossible. I will say this, though. If you are a naysayer and you are um, black and disapprove of mm-hmm. this actual uh, interpretation of a true story, um, create your own mm-hmm. and get it out there. And look, and if it's, you know, if you want to do, hey, look, why don't we do this? Let's remake Claudine together. Then. If you want to do it. That's my thing. So I don't want, I don't want to, I'm not finna, you can have your opinion. And I, I, I truly affect that that's what we ought to have. So, but remember, you have the opportunity as much as anybody else to put out there in this day and age, the, what you want to put out there. We're putting this out there, not necessarily because it's what we want to, but it's a great story to tell. And we're being storytellers. We're not doing a, a documentary. We're just telling a story. And you, there are surprises in it. There are going to be things that are going to drive you crazy. Hopefully things you really dig and people you actually end up caring about. Ultimately, I think if you let it go, you'll see a version of you in somebody at some point uh, coming to a crossroads and what they're willing to do. So at the end of the day, I want you to watch it. I want you to watch if you don't like us. I want you to watch if you do. But if you don't like us, make sure why you're not liking us. Because I'm not, you know, when we're putting this show out, yeah. I know there's a lot of other shows out there, but this is the show that's based on these real cats that we're putting out. Right. Okay. And I agree with you and we got to go, but, um, and, and it's, it's real life for a lot of people. So I can't imagine people not liking it, but, but again, people have their opinions. Steve, yes. thank you so much. I could have went gone on and on and on, but thank you so much. I know you have to go. Um, God bless you. You guys go watch it Sunday night, 8 PM Eastern time. Um, we support you. You guys remember, respect yourself. Respect each other. Maybe we'll get another time, Steve. Absolutely. Take it easy. Thanks, Tasha. We'll see y'all soon.